it's Emily. Today we're going to do a follow-up video on the $70 flute um, by Eastar. It's available on Amazon and we have um, read a lot of comments and questions about the flute and we're going to address a couple of issues that people were wondering about. So the first thing is um, people were wondering who is this flute for? So I think this flute is for people who want to start, uh, people of any age who want to start the flute but don't necessarily want to invest a lot in a first flute because flutes are pretty expensive. And so that can be a, a good flute for those people. Um, I think it's, it's great that we have that availability of a $70 flute or a $90 flute in the case of um, they have another model that has open holes and this model is $90 and so those two are very inexpensive and it allows people to have access to music with a smaller budget and I think it's great because it should be available for everyone to play an instrument especially the flute because I love the flute so uh, that's who it should be for also it could be a second flute for people who play outdoors for some events and uh, don't want to bring their other flute out outdoors. So that could be also um, an option. So some people were wondering why the two flutes didn't sound so different from each other. And I think it's because professional flutists can make pretty much any flute sound good because we know how to compensate and we notice right away which note is a bit more um, weak and then we'll put a bit more energy on that note and so I don't have to do that with my flute so this flute is worth $70 my flute is worth approximately $9,000 so on my flute I don't have to compensate for anything it's um, every note sounds good and every note comes out easily um, on this flute uh, there's little leaks we took care of a couple of leaks with the screwdriver, but there's still little leaks and uh, I have to compensate when I play, uh, but I still can make it sound good. But even though if it's not a perfect flute, obviously, because of the price, um, it's still playable and it's still functioning. So for the same reason I expressed earlier, it's still a good choice for some people. Now I'm going to play a little excerpt uh, both on this flute and on my flute and we can compare both. Now I will play something uh, faster and detached because the first excerpt I did was uh, legato and slow. So uh, now I'll start with the E star flute and I'll just play a G major scale. I'll stop here and then with my flute. So now that you've heard both examples, let me know in the comments what you thought of uh, what were the differences. For me, the big difference is in the amount of effort I have to put to get the result that I want. Some people also wondered how long this flute will last. Uh, I'm not sure exactly because I've had it for one month only. Um, what I think is that it's not worth bringing to a repair shop because the repair will probably cost more than the flute itself. Um, it's probably not worth replacing the pads when they're, once they're worn out. So uh, once your pads are worn out or it doesn't play well anymore, I think that uh, the life of that flute is over. It will depend on how much you play on it, how well you take care of it. If you leave water, get into the pads, it will uh, not be good for as long as if you make sure it stays dry and, um, and you take good care of it. One thing that could be interesting to do once the flute is worn out 
um, would be to tear it down yourself, learn about the anatomy of the flute, maybe replace the pads yourself. Um, it could be a good learning experience. So in summary, this flute is not a great flute, but it's playable. Don't expect too much from a flute that is $70, but it's good for people who want to see if they like the flute and uh, discover it and don't want to spend too much. And you can find all the information about where you can buy the flute in the description below. Also, this flute was very popular after our first video. So a lot of people had to buy the other model that is $90 and has open holes. So the only difference is that the holes here are open and you put your fingers over it. If you have difficulty closing them, you can put little plugs. And usually those flutes are a bit more advanced, but we assume that it's pretty much the same mechanism and everything else is the same on those two models. So I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. See you next time.